Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Wednesday, June the 3rd, the year's 2020. Let's talk trading, the rat, part two. And just so all you traders know, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Trading is extremely risky. You can lose all of your money. If you need trading, investment, or financial advice, seek the advice of an accredited financial professional. Oh, and by the way, um, this is my email address, and this is the Facebook group where you can go. Okay, the rat part two. Uh, yesterday, I kind of went through the different aspects of the rat. Now, there's something that some people get confused. The rat zone is not a system. The rat zone is basically an area where it's saying, okay, in this area, it's good to short red rat zone and in this area it's good to go long the green rat zone and this is based on statistics and once again uh, these videos are for educational purposes only so when price is in the rat zone statistics say it's not going to close there by the end of the day it will have left that zone and that's Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. So I've been trading the pound along with Walmart. And take a look here. This is the red rat zone. Price got in the red rat zone. Price has now left the red rat zone by seven pips. And so you see we have the original rat and also the smart rat. And we have the range is large enough. We have range of 70 because this range right here is 20 and this range right here is 20. So you need probably a range of around 60 or so. And in the uh, rat zone indicator here, you can... set your pip trigger and that is where you would go long or go short and I think I have some uh, debug code I was probably working on something I'll have to remove that from the uh, indicator there and that's one of the free downloads the rat zone and please people do not post my code on other forums in fact i guess there's some people over on forex factory have some some bad things to say about me again and there's some people have some nice things to say and i just find it kind of amusing why i get so much attention on a forum that banned me um when was it around 2006 or something i can't even remember it's been so long but yeah they still like to put my indicators up though that's for sure and and people posting charts over there they get accused of being me it's like i, I rarely post charts i think i posted one in Cresslick yesterday because it was showing i think i was showing how price left the rat zone i can't even remember i posted one on uh yeah, I think it was on Cresslick and maybe on the uh, Facebook page. But no, I make videos because that way I can talk through and, and you can watch. So once again, the main thing is the rat zone. This is a zone, red rat, and this is green rat. And why this is purple is because you see here the smart rat has its trigger at 25.58 and the... the uh, or a rat point two <laughs> or rat 2.0 i should say and the original rat the trigger is just the standard 20 pips now how do you enter a trade oh, there's so many ways you can enter a trade and it you can flip a coin so long as you're in the rat zone it really doesn't matter the whole idea is, is just to get long here and get short here now of course, you have to have your stop loss in place because price could run against you. See, if this was the high here, price would have run against you. 
So always have your stop loss in place. You, you traders should know that by now. And if you're new to um, my YouTube channel, new to watching these videos, I, I say this pretty much every day. Money and risk management must be in place. Only risk what you're willing to lose per trade. Make sure your position size and stop loss are properly calculated. Money management, take the pips off the table before the market takes them back. Brain management, don't have FOLO, FOMO, ROMO, ROGO, or ROBS, okay? Because if you're experiencing pain, don't blame the market. It's your reaction to the market. So back to the rat. There's so many ways to get into a rat zone trade. For example, you could do a holo trade. You could do the lowest H1 open for the day and the highest H1 open for the day. Um, and you can, all you have to do is turn on an H1 chart and you can pretty much see it. So for example here, this was the highest H1 open for the day. So if you went short there, 97, you'd be up a few pips. The lowest open, well, at this point in time of the day, you couldn't have gotten that trade because it hadn't put in a high yet. The, the range wasn't enough. So you green rats would not have gotten the trade until later in the day when price came down here, entered the zone. Now, once again, the H1 candle color would have been the wrong color with the exception of right here. But sometimes you have statistics on your side and when you know the rules, you've mastered them, then you can bend them, and sometimes you can break them and still make pips. And so you can see here, we went zone to zone a couple of hours ago. And now you see, if you hadn't have taken those pips, well, the market's what? Taking them back. So there's a live example of what I'm talking about. You don't want to be greedy, but... Once again, if, if you've been following my videos, you can see right here, there was the, the low here. Penetrated the low from the previous hour. When it came back, you should have had your stop right there. So you at least protect some of your profit. It's, it's not that difficult. It really isn't. Um, you don't need any squiggly line indicators. You really don't. Now, back to entries. That was just one highest open. Um, you could just trade simple um, prices ending in 10. So right here, there was the 10 line. The price went above it, dropped below it, get short. It didn't. So you could have been short right around, say, 9 or 10. That's another way of trading it. Uh, let's see. And the other thing is to look for range expansion. Um, but the problem with the uh, pairs nowadays, they're not doing like they used to do. We used to wait for 150 pips on the pound, and then it would just, almost every day it would put in a range of 150 pips. But that's not happening anymore. In fact, you can see here, the ranges today got smaller. It's only 70. It's only uh, 14 percentile. So in other words, out of the last um, 100 trades, only 14 were 70 or less. Or last 100 days, that's the daily range. High minus open, here we got 66 pips, that's the 54 percentile. And you can see here, you've got this big candle, this one's a little bit smaller, this one's getting a little bit smaller. So it looks like it's about ready to run out of gas going on the upside. So that's how you use these statistical indicators. Oh, and and uh, just so you know, this is the smart ranges, and I'm going to have to get that out to you donators in batch five for the year uh, this week, along with the uh, a write-up on the smart rat zone. But actually, these videos can also serve that purpose too. Now, as far as, as trading it, th this is really a, um, and that's the Walmart method. Uh, let's see, where were we? 
back here. Um, this this is really a sit on your hands and wait. You you have to wait for price to get in the zone. You can't rush the trade. You can't make it happen. Um, the other way to enter a rat trade, I touched on it yesterday, was a what I call a rat reversal. So right here we had a green candle close, a red candle close, right here. And so you go short at the low of the red candle. Or sometimes if it's moving, you can take the break of the uh, green candle. That's just a two bar turn trade type of reversal. So that's a turn trade. And then this short here, that'd be a rat reversal. So right here, green candle, red candle closed. Go short at the red candle. You can see here, you only got a couple pips. It pulled back in the zone, scratched the trade. Otherwise, you would have taken about 20 pips of heat. Green candle closes, red candle closes. Same thing here, but you can see price pulled back in. You took some heat, and then it came back down and out. And some people, you can just just trade as it's leaving but that's the last that's like the last chance to get on the boat i mean hopefully you want to get in somewhere here and see right now where price is we're right at the 20 percentile but there's really not too much more on the rat zone um you can do one two three trades um going back to h1 so you see here um price made a high then it made a new high for the day came down through um your actual one two three trade would probably be actually this would have been a holo trade right here and it also would not really have been a one two three trade because the price is supposed to test the high and it didn't. So remember, um, one thing about price action trading is when you, you can look at, you know, lower time frame bars or candles, and you can just take your usual breakouts. Like if you see an inside bar up here, you can take the breakout. So right here was an inside bar. You can take the breakout. Um, right here was an inside bar. You can took took the breakout to the high side there, but then once again to the low side. Um, down here, even though at the time this wasn't, you can see this was a rat reversal. This was an inside bar trade. So they're all possible. Um, basically, you trade what you see. But when you're in the zone, you, you know you have st statistics in your favor. So even if you were, say you got short right here, right here, and then all of a sudden price reversed on you. Well, if, depending on your stop loss, it most likely should have been somewhere up here. Actually, somewhere above here. Maybe by, maybe you only did it by one pip. Maybe you did it by five or ten. Dragon usually did about a 20 pip stop loss because this is also uh, fits in with his method. So just make sure your position size is sized accordingly. And in that way, you can take some heat, but then you know statistics are on your side and price usually obeys the statistics. Not always, but usually. And once again, if you're in the rat zone, um, if high minus close is less than 20, you know you're in a rat zone, you can just trade the H1 candle color at the line, either at the top or at the bottom. Um, so that pretty much wraps up the rat zone, the rat reversal, how to get in the trade. Just remember, you want to trade in the zone. And if you're in the red rat zone, you only trade short. If you're in the green rat zone, you only trade long if you're doing rat trades. So remember, fellow traders, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. And don't forget to subscribe and click like and post a video on other forums like Forex Factory since they love me so much over there. Rumpled one out.